Good afternoon, this is David with the Sear Talon series. Today I wanted to show you my trauma kit that is specifically designed for penetrating trauma such as gunshot wounds and stab wounds. Uh, blood loss and shock are the leading cause of death after penetrating trauma to an extremity. This kit just kind of gets the ball rolling for controlling blood loss and stopping the bleeding as a result of a, a traumatic wound to an extremity. Uh, I carry this kit on my on my duty belt. Uh, if it's not on my duty belt, it's in my car. And then I always take this kit with me when I go shooting at the range uh, or in the country. Just kind of a, a mandatory um, piece of equipment for me. I made this kit myself. Uh, let's see, I spent about fifty dollars in putting it together. That includes the uh, the case. All the extra supplies that I had, I just put in my home trauma kit, so that was that was easy. There's no no waste. Uh, a lot of stuff you can get at your local drugstore or online. So let's take a look. This is a Voodoo Tactical BDU wallet. I picked it up at a local Army surplus store in Mountain View, uh, San Jose. Held up real nice. Has the Molly straps on the back, which I put my belt through and then sometimes I'll put a carabiner through the top here so nothing in here is rocket science or trauma surgeon anything like that it's it's pretty uh, basic again just the uh, idea of the kit is just to start uh, the ball rolling on stopping the, the blood loss as a result from penetrating trauma so if you have an accidental discharge or you've been involved in a conflict or you've been involved in an assault where somebody's discharged a weapon and struck you um, or you've been assaulted by a sharp instrument such as a knife or an inmate manufactured weapon a shank something like that so you've got a kit with you uh, because you know in a situation like that 911 response isn't going to be able to get to you right away that scene's got to be declared safe um, so if you've got this kit on your belt or in your car uh, close to you, then you're able to render aid to yourself. If you're out in the woods someplace and you've called 911, who knows how long it's going to take for that ambulance to come out to you. So having something like this is, uh, is definitely worth the investment. I chose these contents and this, um, this style case just because it's lightweight and it's small enough that I, I can wear my, my belt comfortably. So first thing we'll look at is latex gloves um, or nitro gloves, whatever you prefer. Have a couple sets in here. Uh, that way you can put on uh, two sets at the same time and that kind of um, allows you to uh, change gloves out if you, you dirty your hands and need a clean hand then you just need a, to take a glove off. Second thing we'll take a look at is these Quick Clot Sport packs here. They come in two different sizes. I got these on eBay. Uh, this is a 25 gram I picked up for about 10 to 15 dollars. This is a 50 gram sponge I picked up for 15 to 20 dollars. Uh, sometimes they come in, in packs together. Uh, just kind of shop around on eBay or Amazon and uh, they're, they're really not too expensive at all. Make sure you check the expiration date. A good eBayer is going to list that, but if they don't list it, message them and ask them. Make sure you're not picking up uh, expired products. So this is like June of 2015, April 2015. Now you can get combat gauze as well. It comes in a green uh, vacuum seal like this. Um, I chose Quick Clot uh, Sport Edition like this because they're really thin and they're pretty lightweight so they, they fit in here uh, real nice. So that's the first thing that's going to come on. I carry two in two different sizes because if you have a gunshot wound it's possible you're going to have an entry wound so you're going to have a small sponge and an exit wound that's going to be a big wound so you're going to have the bigger sponge. So I carry two of them. So I put my gloves on, I put the quick clot on. Next thing that I'm going to put on is these 5x9 surgical pads. Uh, these surgical dressings you can pick up at your local drugstore like Walgreens, Walmart, uh, Long's, whatever you have available to you.
Next thing we're going to do is apply direct pressure. So you're either going to have the victim do that or a bystander do that or you're going to use some kind of uh, medical tape, duct tape, um, a towel, a handkerchief, t-shirt, whatever you have available to you to start wrapping up that wound, putting direct pressure on the wound. This isn't a first aid course, but that's kind of the first, first couple steps that you're going to use with what you have in your kit here. Next thing, um, that's a possibility that you might need is some kind of tourniquet material. So I have about six feet of paracord in here. Uh, I've got a um, pen with some medical tape wrapped around it, probably about 10 yards or so. And then I have a Sharpie pen. So if I do have to put a tourniquet on or when you put the quick clot uh, on, you're going to write on the skin what time you put quick clot. So 0535 is quick clot and 0545 is when you had to put the tourniquet on. So make those notations on the skin so when fire um, and the medics roll up they know when those particular um, treatments were put on. That's about it. I mean that's pretty much cleaned out the bag but that does a lot right there to slow or stop uh, bleeding especially in the extremities. Of course, you're going to be treating this patient for shock as well because blood loss is going to lead to, um, to shock. If you don't know how to treat somebody for shock, you need to go take a, a first aid CPR AED course, American Heart, uh, Red Cross. You can find them anywhere. We offer them here at SEER Training in San Jose. Uh, the only other thing that I keep with me is this My Cleanse, which is a, uh, a cleaning spray. These have expiration dates as well, but you can pick them up on on Amazon and eBay and they're just a pump spray and they kill uh, viruses, bacteria, stuff like that. They're used in hospital settings by nurses, doctors, correctional settings for gassings, uh, law enforcement, medics, EMTs, fire, really good to have. And that's pretty much all I have in here. The other things you're going to have in your EDC, you know, obviously you're going to call 911, you're going to have a phone with you. Um, yeah, that's about it. Like I said, it's not brain surgery. You're not a trauma surgeon or anything like that. You're just basically taking the first several steps to uh, slow or stop the blood loss. And that's what I have in the Voodoo Tactical BDU wallet here. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Talk to you guys later. Bye.